So for the next mission, do you want to do the ultimate macro mission ever, or do you want to do Muta Micro? Macro mission. All right, so you're going to hit Brood War, and then it's going to be mission four. From Zerg? Of Zerg. Okay. Yeah. The Liberation of Core Hall. So your build order here is hatchery, 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 hatchery. <laughs> so five hatch? Yes. Okay. You're going to go up to nine hatch there because you start out, uh, your intro minerals is a little bit high. You're floating Oh my bit. God. Oh, so you just yeah, make your macros out of everything. Bad. And then drones out of uh, everything. No, you got to make one gas. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, and what is the thought process? You're just overwhelming, right? So what you're going to do first is you're going to take your army to the north and then there's a ramp and to attack down some bunkers that are right there for your expansion. Ah, At that you. point, you're going to 10,000 minerals is not enough to beat this mission. It's generally like 25,000 ish resources you need. So you are going to. Oh, yeah, you got to make two sunks real quick, uh, but it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, is my screen is really pixelated for you. I hope it fixes oh, it soon, is. but yeah, it's, I don't it's think it's your fault. Just do, no, I think it's a uh, discord being discord. Uh. So you're going to go up there. You're going to grab the base and then you're going to fully saturate both bases real hard. Mm -hmm. You're going to get all your upgrades and your tech while you build out a bajillion zerglings. And then you're going to switch into hydras and go huge hydroling energy. Okay. And just swarm your way across the map with adrenal lings plus hydras as support. A lot of overlords to spot because there are a ton of lurkers around. Mm -hmm. okay. And okay. you're going to swing up the top area of the map. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to go down into the white base. And then at the end, your rally is going to take out that little outpost in the south middle. This one right here. Not to the right of that. Oh, this one here. Yeah, this one. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but eventually you're going to have so many cracklings that it won't matter. Mm, yeah. Okay, so what is the record time on this? All right. Uh, does anybody know in my chat? I'm sure they do. Because I think the record holder's in my chat. Oh, really? Sick. And is this one where you get any evolution chamber upgrades? Uh, it is 1028. Yeah, you're going to get 1-1, one, one, and then you're going to get one two on ranged so you're gonna get melee carapace and then you're gonna get no wait i have it in the notes melee carapace range melee maybe i think it might be melee ranged and then ranged carapace oh okay cool Let's and that's it. you're going to get a layer asap and then you're gonna go into hive and you're gonna get all the hydra all the ling upgrades basically <laughs> okay yeah i'm getting confirmation i think that it's both attack and then range carapace cool okay i am ready this this one looks Alrighty. really fun this is my type of mission i think faster faster hatch 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 sunk sunk one gas ah! hatch, hatch, hatch. Hard race. spend that money and then send that army up north because you need an expansion you're running out of cash so uh, for your first drones, you're going to turn them into Evo Chambers and Hydra Den. And then just keep making lots of drones until you are super saturated. Congratulations, you have all the infrastructure you'll ever need. And put your first three drones, guys onto gas now. Because you can work off those minerals for quite a long time. So you want to be careful with the push down into the expansion. You can't really afford to lose that. Like, you can lose the army, but if they don't win, you're in bad shape. And there's three bunkers full of Marines. So once you have the money and the Evos are finished, you're going to start 1-1. One, one. And then uh, you got the layer on the way. Good. So link speed. You're going to want to start bringing a drone up so that you can take that expansion once it's clear. Forces on your 
But be careful to bring him up to that ramp, otherwise he'll pass somewhere to dumb and get killed. Oh, oh this I is gonna be terrible. bad. Fuck. Yeah, I think you want to hit the left one first. The left so if one? you want to salvage here, you can just yeah, you want to go top and then left and then bottom when it comes to targeting down the bunks. You can just make a bunch of links and flood over it if you want. Yeah. yeah Hydra speed, ling speed, queen's nest. I actually don't even know the hockeys I've set for some of these fucking things right now. <laughs> it's always so weird. I've played Warcraft 2 recently, though, and it makes Brood War hotkeys look brilliant. Mm. Uh, what do you think the hotkey for Troll Berserker is? C. It's A. Because <laughs> you gotta build A Troll Berserker. Makes perfect sense. Alright, so you're gonna saturate that up, and then you are going to smash. Just like infinity, you know. But you're not going to want to push for a long time because you need obviously a huge army. I would say that 150 supply is your good one to go, Mark. Oops. Oh, yeah, oh, be careful that's about the, the rally. Thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's funny, yeah, because I was actually I just reset only. all my rallies, and they are not... Mm. Oh, do you have a hive on the way? Perfect. So yeah, basically from here, it's saturate the base, and then you're going to just keep making lings once you're saturated until you have all your upgrades going, and then your gas can go to hydras. Okay. And once your hive is done, you need to get OV speed. Mm -hmm. Try to let the sunks do what they can for defense. I think they're hitting a hatch though. Oh. Attack to interface for the next one, right? Yes. And those are going to be the only upgrades you get because you won't be able to afford anything more. Because upgrades in StarCraft 1 take literally eternity. kill that little area as long as you don't go too far. I was wondering if I can just kill off this right here, because then I can actually set some good rallies. I think you can, but it just... The base keeps going. That's the big problem. All the way across the map. You're also, like, losing your nap. Oh. Shit. Oh, those... Yeah, you're... Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Go. Dude, it's hard to even attack move all these units. This is crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. If you're not a pro Zerg player, most of your time is going to be spent just grabbing units and sending them. I just heard a plague. So you do have to resaturate that. Look at this guy, five kills, four health. My god. 
<laughs> I promise I feel bad for you. I don't think you want to push there, I'll be honest. You kind of need the Hydra support and Adrenal and stuff. Just... Our forces are under attack. Uh oh. Oh, she's gone off the rails. He's not listening to me. Oh, no, the blue units aren't listening to me. The pathing is so weird here. Fuck. We gotta finish what we started. It never ends. You have to believe me. There's just more base. There we go. Perfect. Okay, Overlord speed. That's what we were missing. Everything's gonna be fine now. Whew. That is a good place to put all your rallies, though. I'll give you that. <laughs> all forces are under attack. Hey, we need Sorry, this is just a technical question for myself, but you said a screen hotkey and that's how you do your rallies? Yeah, so if you do F2, okay, cool. F3, you can like, you can get really fast to switch your rallies. It's pretty crazy. Nice. That's always been one of those things as a fairly casual Brood War player that I've been horrible at. It's really good info. Yeah, the other way you can do it is with, uh, like, the problem is when you set the rallies, you want to set generally, and this is like a really high level thing to say, but you want to set them where you don't have any units yet. So you want it to be like a fresh location, because if you click on a unit, all the units will rally right. to that unit, and if it dies somewhere on the map, they'll all rally to where it died. So that There's gonna be lurkers problem. up here, by the way. Be careful. Huh? There's gonna be lurkers up here. Okay. Just, I, I don't want you to be super surprised. No, that's really good information. Thank you. And, um... Let's see, where's my overlords at? Oh yeah, and the other way to do it is to just reset all your hotkeys with it, basically. Like, sometimes if I have a lot of units in an area and I know I can't do the... Because look, if I go like this, I'm like, oh shit, I click that and then I gotta re-click. And the thing is, you're doing Fight. it so automatically, like this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that sometimes it's better to just go control 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then you go over here and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and just right-click. Oh... Oh, this is good. So yeah, the rest of this mission is basically you barreling down across the map with infinity stuff and hoping you don't run out. Try to snipe lurkers and guardians and tanks with your hydras if you can, but most importantly is just making sure everyone's on the way. Also drop a nidus in your main. Because there's going to be Guzerg stuff coming up, and being able to plop it on their creep is good. And you can just set all your rallies into the Nidus. Mm. So I'm looking at my notes, and I was actually wrong. You get plus two melee, not plus two ranged. But it shouldn't make a big difference. Yeah. It, the uh, melee upgrade for Zerglings is, like, statistically the best attack upgrade with carrier attacks it like it's plus 20 yeah. damage output the first one which is just so insane <laughs> it's pretty good and a lot of it is just cleaning up buildings at the end so that you can move on to the next base so hydras are not great at that you're getting into a Zerg base next, and that's where there's going to be a lot of Guardians and a lot of Lurkers. And that splotch of, that splotch of creep right there, if you toss your Nidus there, then your rally will be much easier. As far left as you can get it. Okay, maybe not that base. Uh, there was supposed to be creep a little bit farther to the left, but I think you killed it and it receded already. Oh, right there. Yeah. Our forces are under attack. I 
feel like you have a lot of stuff chilling in the middle of the map. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. That's okay, okay, it's gonna make the next fight better, because the next base is really hard. It's like Lurker Siege Tank High Ground. Oh, and Spider Mines, of course. You can push into white and make sure you have detection. Yep, I do have overlords here. That's a bit slow. It might get cleaned up here, which is pretty common. Yeah, you're going to have to pull back and regroup. Probably wait until about 140 supply. No, well, maybe you got it. I don't know. It just this isn't just a front defense. It goes all the way through the base. So having a big push is pretty good. Actually running out of money. <laughs> That's crazy. It's it's a cool mission, honestly. I really like just macro, macro, macro. Yeah. Oh, I ran out of minerals. Oh, yeah. That's why. You I was can, like, damn, man. Yeah, if you need the base, you can take it. There's a bunch on this mission. Huh. Oh, that's funny. I actually just kind of assumed that wouldn't occur. Oh, I'm getting the double audio again. Really? I hope it fixes itself. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Sure, why not? I'm gonna assume that it fixes itself just like last time. I'll try to click on something. Well, it's back to normal. Really? I have no idea what. Nope, the nope. Is. I lied. Never mind. Perfect. He made your sink on high ground. There's nothing fucking scary in the whole world of that. Holy shit. That'll kill a thousand hydras. Is the double Easily. audio the uh, game only? Yeah, it's just the game. Okay. Our forces are under attack. Well, now I have light. Damn, this is actually hard to finish now because I've fucked that yeah, you've up. run out of the momentum. Yeah. The base that you lost at the beginning was really painful. Mm. And every building needs to be killed in this one, right? Yes. All right, I want to try this one again. Do we still have... Okay, hold on. Let me fix this fucking double audio for you. Let me figure this out. Why would that be? Uh... Oh, okay, so my mic into this would be chat only, then chat would be mic only. Okay, do you okay, still have, do you double, still have a double? Hello? Hey. Do you do you still have the double sound? Uh we need to get into a game for me to tell, but the music seems okay. Okay. Uh Zerg four, right? Yes. You know, real professional hotkey or real professional speedrunners artosis use the hotkeys for the menus. You <laughs> casual clicker. You gotta press S. <laughs> Especially you, Phoenix. My hive. Flash would use menu hotkeys. You have the double sound? No, no double sound. Okay, I have no idea. 
I don't either. Double sunk. Perfect. If you mess up the sunk, you just get wrecked. Mm. The ultra comes in and kills all your workers. So, Evo, Evo, Hydra down. And Lair. And then everybody on, or three guys on gas. Let me see if I can take this one down a little bit more efficiently. The UED has sent its pet Zerg to reinforce their troops. But strangely enough, there aren't very many Zerg attacking. Maybe the UED is having more difficulty controlling the Overmind than our forces. Our forces will hit the left bunker next. You do gotta target fire the bunkers because the ultras think that the turrets are of national importance. <laughs> okay, that went much better. Yeah, that was great. on gas in that geyser. You might. It doesn't hurt when you have 57 workers or whatever you end up with. Yeah. I'm gonna send a couple overlords up here because they brought lurkers last time. Right. Uh, Queen's Nest? Yes. You are basically at the place where it is upgrades and then macro to 150-ish. Oh, we probably want to kite him over to the sunks if you can. Usually the hatches are built a bit to the north instead of to the west, and that helps with that. Mm -hmm. I don't actually think you lost anything. Yeah, like two drones maybe. Yeah, it's fine. And this time, your life is going to go a lot more smoothly because you're going to have these gas geysers. Yeah. I can actually get my upgrades really going. I was already on the way. Now, where am I rallying? How? Where is my attack move path? Is it down here? Your attack move path, around. well, you want to... The way that you went last time was correct. You just kind of go up the top side of the map. Mm -hmm. So pooling to the slightly northwest of your hatches right now is good. And then once, as you clear areas, you just move your rally forward. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons you get that Nidus eventually is because it makes it easier. So should I start clearing stuff, or do I wait? No, no. You gotta wait until you have uh, overlord speed and a decent number of hydras. Because you will clear through stuff right now, but it won't be efficient enough. You need to kind of be one giant wave all the way to the top left side of the map. You can't lose the momentum. Making overlords out of that top hatch. That's a good it's optimization. Like a worse. Yeah, it's worse rally. I don't want to reset the rally on that one. Yeah, so here's the lurker attack. It's coming to your main this time. Very nice. Alright, I'm starting to get a good amount of hydras. 
You'll have speed on the way, right? Yep. Great. Oh, if you can take out the filer down, it'd be good. They sometimes retreat them, I think. Oh, he got it. Toby's speed almost done. I don't think you want to go much farther than this now. Uh, get your Nidus. So I basically want the Nidus there. Uh, you want it a little bit to the left. There's going to be another creep thing. I think it's a little bit past the halfway point. Okay. Clear this area then. Also going to build a hatch over here. You won't have to take that base if you do it right. Oh, okay. You'll never mine out if you're fast enough. Forces are under attack. I forgot to get a trinal. Oh, that's a big loss. So I want it like right about here, right? The Nidus. Yeah, you can toss the Nidus down there. Whatever makes your rallying easiest. Forces are under attack. So there's going to be a little bit of a natural gap in between this blue base and then the final Zerg base, and you can use that time to kind of get all your stuff together and make sure that you hit as one giant force against the Zerg base. Okay, I'm actually almost fine. Last time, one a lot better. Oh yeah, you're doing great. You just want to be very careful because they do have those lurkers that have rode, and last time, I think a couple of lurkers got like 50, 60 link kills. <laughs> that would be normal, yeah. <laughs> Too bad we can't actually get to lurkers in professional ZBZ. <laughs> yeah. That would be a lot more interesting, I think. No, I really like having two drones and 57 Zerglings. I know, right? It's great. So whenever you feel comfortable, you can make that big push. Pro uh, start rallying your attack guys from the back of your army first. Mm -hmm. I know that's like simple stuff, but it's easy to forget when you're doing everything. Okay. Here, lurker. All forces are under attack. This is a good attack. All the lords are still here. Forces are Damn, it's a lot of units. <laughs> mm -hmm. This would be so easy if it was like unlimited unit selection. I'd kill this mission in fucking two seconds. <laughs> but this is like that All attack moving is the hardest part. It really is. Oh, this is going phenomenally. So then that final base is going to be a problem. You're going to rally wings at the end so that you can get that center bottom base mm -hmm. while you are killing the bottom left. Your time's actually great, by the way. Like, really, really good. All forces are under attack. And you can snipe the tanks. I mean, and I know it's high ground, so it's impossible. At least they didn't dematrix it this time. Yeah. So I have to start thinking about uh, taking out that little blue area, right? 
Yes. And there's lurkers right there. Be careful. There's like three of them. Okay. I think they're right past those turrets. If I remember correctly. And they haven't done something dumb. Uh, maybe not today. You may have accidentally killed lurkers earlier, which is really good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those ultras have never done anything. They're really <laughs> mascot ultras that you just rally to the back. Yeah, so the songs are really the only part that is difficult there. And you got this. Uh, make sure you move this army a little bit to the right. There's just a bunch of random static defense to the right of where you are. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see. All forces are under attack. And then check the bottom left to make sure that you're attacking everything there. Oh, yep, you got it. The dropship does not matter, it's just buildings. Okay, and I think that's the whole map then, right? I think right above your, a little bit to the left, above the Hydra, there's a white spot. Oh. Right there. Nice. There you go. Uh, you can. 1154 is about two minutes over world record, but that's still very good for a second try. All right. So do you want to move on to Muta Micro? Sure. Let's go. All right. I don't know if you can actually exit out of this. They're just going to talk for a bit. <laughs> I think I got to listen to whatever Edmund has to say to me. I hope you make the In theory, if you're really fast, you can hit F10 and before the dialogue starts and then you can exit <laughs> out, but as soon as it starts, 